This is Laura GB and in this video we're going to look at adding a drill through button. So here we are in Power BI in a sales report for the flower shops. So I've got a tree map in the top left hand corner and what I want to be able to do is add a button just below it that when we right click on one of these it'll take me through to the shop report and this will be filtered to that shop. I also want to add in a shop title into there. So we've got three steps. One is to make this a drill through page. The second is to add in that title. The third is to add in the button. Okay, so step one, let's make this into a drill through report. So what we're going to ask people to select is the shop name. So into this report here, in the visualizations page, pane, with just the page selected, you'll see you get a drill through section here. And I'm going to drag in the shop name into that drill through section. And that adds a little button in the top left hand corner, which acts as a back button. So when you drill through to this page, you can use the back button to go back again. So and that also if I go back onto the page, you'll see in my visualizations, I've got down here the shop. So I'm just going to click to filter it to Alice's flower shop just for a moment. So the next bit is more obvious. So now we're going to add in a measure to go across the top here in a data card to show which shop has been selected. So I'm going to go for a new measure from off the home ribbon. And up comes the formula bar. So I'm going to call this shop report title. OK, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable that's going to be called shop. Spelt right would help. And that is going to equal the selected value of my shop name. OK, now if there's no filter applied, this will return a blank. So that, so then I'm going to put into it into here. I'm going to do a return. And I've just pressed the button return, which is going to give me now an error. Shift return to new lines, Laura, and we're going to put into here an if. Open bracket, another shift return. So let's get rid of that message for a second. So the test we're going to do is the is blank and the name of the variable, which is shop. So that gives me my test. So now we're going to do the result if true. So if it's blank, I'm actually going to put into here. Select a shop. OK, because this measure is going to be used in two places. It's going to be used on a button as well as on this page. So then the next part down is going to be, well, if it's not, we're going to actually put in the shop. And then I'm going to put into there and add on the end a sales report. OK, so that's my if statement completely written. So we do a quick find out the selected value. If it's blank, just put select a shop. If not, put the name of the shop followed by sales report. OK, let's press return on there and the error vanishes. OK, now let's make use of that one. So I'm going to come into here. I'm going to add in a data card. I'm going to make it the width of the page. Hopefully. OK, let's, let's not hide that button and up there. And the value we're going to put into there is going to be my measure, which, of course, I've forgotten where it's gone. So there we are. It's in calendar. That makes sense, doesn't it? So I'm going to quickly put that one onto that data card. OK, and on that data card, I'm also just going to get rid of if you see You've got a little category bit down the bottom there. I'm just going to turn that off. And there we are. We get a good title there. 
which will change if I pick, see we get select a shop, or if I put Bert in, I get Bert's best gifts. Sales report, so that works. So I've done the make this drill through report and I've created the measure. Now let's go to the summary page. So just to prove that that one has worked, if I do a right, if I click on Alice's shop, okay, we get our 48, 40, sorry, 468,000 down there. If I do a right click, you get a drill through here and I can click on shop report. And there we go. It comes up as Alice's flower shop sales report. Okay. With the right numbers over here. So I'm now going to go back to my one here and let's do the last part. Let's add in that button. So insert ribbon and we're going to go to buttons and I'm going to put in a right arrow button. Okay. And I'm going to put it down here underneath here. And I'm then going to put into here the action is going, to, I'm going to turn on action and I'm going to make it into a drill through button and the destination is going to be the shop report. Okay. And there's a couple of things down here to be enabled, enabled um, tooltip. I'm going to leave blank, disabled tooltip. Let's just put no shop selected just so we can see how that shows. Um, and But I'm going to put in the button text. I'm going to turn on my button text. And the button text here, I'm going to right click and go for the conditional formatting. Okay. And it comes up with format by field value based on field. And I am going to go and I'm going to go and find that shop report title. And I'm going to click OK. And it currently says select a shop. Let's up that font a little bit, make it look a bit better. OK. Um, we can do some nice things about um, realigning that and stuff like that. Um, and now if I click on Alice's flower shop, there we are, it comes up. And control click in here will take me to Alice's flower shop. And a control click on that top button will take me back again. And if I click on Charlie and Son, there you are. I get the Charlie and Son sales report and I can then click and it will take me back. So that was making a page, a drill through page, adding a measure and then adding a drill through button. If you haven't already, Please press subscribe. Take care now.